Hello everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going after small birds with the Sigma 150 to 600 and the Tamron 18 to 400. Two very different lenses and a very difficult object to photograph. Small birds. Difficult, difficult stuff. And if you've never tried it before, maybe you ought to give it a shot. No pun intended. And let's get started with the elusive Eastern Bluebird. I went 10 days without seeing a Bluebird after that first shot. Then the one that wouldn't face me and this guy in the bird bath. And he looked kind of put off with me when I got close to him. The tufted titmouse, they're kind of difficult for me to photograph also. They move around a lot. There's not as many of them here as there are, say, Cardinals and Blue Jays. And, um... Just a little hard for me to get pictures of. I wish I had better images. This one came with the Sigma, and I really liked it, so I threw it in there. And we have hummingbirds. I believe this is a female or either a juvenile male, and they fly around. We don't have very many of these either, but I always know where they're gonna be so I can get shots of them. Now the Carolina wrens, they don't go to the feeders. They like to hang out on the trees and in the bushes, and I always get pictures of them a lot of times on wood piles and burn piles. I think they like to dig around and root around for bugs and stuff, and they're not real big on the feeders. Every once in a while you'll see one on a feeder, but usually I catch them hanging around the periphery and I get a few shots of them. The chickadees, on the other hand, these birds are great. They don't mind me being around them, and I don't mind being around them myself. They take wonderful shots, uh, they pose for me, and uh, they eat right in front of me. This is probably 12 feet away with the Sigma 150 to 600, so I could just get right on them if I want to. And all I really have to worry about with these birds is light, making sure I have the right light to get the shots, because outside of that, they're going to cooperate. This little fellow was singing for me, and this one is just eating and doesn't care that I'm there at all. These are probably my most photogenic birds around though, the Eastern Phoebe. We have lots of them. They go to the feeders, they hang out on the fence, they hang out in the bushes. If you're looking for a Phoebe to take a picture of, you pretty much just go outside and you'll find one. And with the Sigma 150 to 600, I can get some really good shots like this Phoebe on a gargoyle. Have you ever seen that before? I, I couldn't believe it when it landed on the gargoyle. At first it was on the satellite dish and I got a picture of that too. And I thought, wow, that's neat. And then he flew to the gargoyle, and I was like, that's neater. Anyway, I get lots of pictures of these Phoebes to sort through. There's one pooping on the fence. And then here we have one in the bush taking a peek at me saying, hey, what are you doing today? Me, not much, just chilling, taking bird pictures, stuff like that, little birds. Anyway, the Sigma, I really like that lens. I've only had it for a few days. I've been using the Tamron for the last four or five weeks and it's great for bird photography too. But you do get that reach with the Sigma and that Sigma on my 90D, that autofocus is on point. I don't have to do a lot of manual focus with it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my channel for other videos like this and I'll see you next time.